So my decision to go into medicine was a little bit of a late decision. I actually have an engineering background. So I started off as a biomedical engineer, really loved it, really challenging career. However, just wasn't personable enough for me. I wasn't really getting the people to people interaction that I love. And that's when I decided to pivot into medicine. And one of the things I really liked about vascular medicine is the fact that it really is a thing where you develop a long-term relationship with your patients. I see a lot of patients for all types of vascular issues, whether that be issues with the arteries, the veins, or the lymphatic system. In particular, I see a lot of patients for issues with blood clots or recurrent blood clots. And I myself tend to focus on blood clots in the lungs. And so a lot of the patients I see are for what we call unprovoked blood clots in the lungs or blood clots that we don't really know why they occurred. They come in with a very dramatic presentation to the hospital, whether that be cardiac arrest, or they're sitting at home and they suddenly experience chest pain or shortness of breath. But really when we see them on the outpatient setting, we get to focus on why did this happen to you? What is the toll this has taken on you? How can we be of help to you? How can we explain things more clearly to you? And going forward, how can we make sure this never happens to you again? One of the things as a vascular medicine doctor, I'm always telling my patients they need to be active, travel, and enjoy life. And so myself, same thing. I love to travel, love to stay active, and those are kind of the things I do in my spare time.